And then the area is pi r squared, right? Area is the pi r squared, so it becomes And then the r and the r cancel, so it's mu 0 n squared pi r over 2. So let's put in the numbers. n is 10 squared pi times, remember we did the radius of that in the lab? What was it roughly? We measured the radius of that. We uh, did that coil. It was, I believe, about 10 and a half centimeters, something like that. 10 and a half or 11 centimeters. So ch I changed it to meters, divided by 2. Let's see what it gives us. This is for 10 turns. Based on this, it should give us 3.6 microhenries. If the formula is exactly uh, right, it should give us 3.6. Is it way off? From your faces, I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not that much off. 20.6, what's the percent error on that? Oh, percent wise it's a lot, huh? 20.7 minus 3.6 over 3.6, so ooh. Percent wise it's pretty bad, but uh, we are in the ballpark. So there, it seems like the equation is not necessarily that applicable to this kind of coil, perhaps lengthwise. It's not uh, that short, you know. The, the f equation requires the coil to be pretty short and wrapped around itself. And maybe this one is a little, has a little length. So we've got to derive the actual. So, but uh, it, we're, we're, we're kind of in the ballpark. Let, we could try something else too. We can put these in series and see if their uh, inductance adds up, OK? So let's, let's try this. Let's, let's do a series circuit. I go from here to here, then from here to here, from here to here. And then from there back to no, oh, hold on. Let's see. We got to do. From here to here, from here to here, and then from here back to here. So I close the circuit. So these are now in series. And now I push it. 10.6 micro, 10.4 micro Henry's. So let's hope at least this works. Because this doesn't depend on any equation, right? So uh, what, uh, what was each individual one? So the, uh, the theoretical, L total theoretical is going to be, this one was, this one was 3.6 microhenries. What was the other solenoid when we checked it by itself? Four point one. Okay, let's see. Seven point uh, seven. L total actual. The other one by itself was four point one, huh? So now we get uh, well. Ten point five. So we're not that close, huh? But they did add up. <laughs> okay.
So there's probably some calibration stuff that we got to do. The general pattern is working, but it's not exactly the same. Now let's try parallel. Parallel would be this one goes back to here. And then this one goes across here. This one goes across here. Three point eight microhenries. Okay? Now that one didn't work, huh? It should be theoretically it should be less than One over three point six plus one over four point one. So it should be what? One. So it should be less than either one. Three point seven. So it's showing three point seven here. Okay. Let me just double check the first one again. No, sorry. The first one was 7. Point, what, what, who said 4.1? It was 7.1. Not 4.1. Well, that's better. You see a smile on my face. It's now it's 6.9. See, not, it's a little different each time. What was it? Was it 4.1 or 7.1? 7, right? Oh, OK, OK. So that's not bad. <clears throat> so it's uh, 3.6 plus 7.1. 10.7, okay, not bad, I like it, I like it. Now the parallel didn't work that well though, 7.1 plus 1.3.6, so that one should be pretty, this one should be a small number then. 2.4, but it gave us what? Let's go back to the parallel. Give it, let's give the machine one more chance to redeem itself. <laughs> huh? Oh, it gave 3.5. See, it gives a little different number depending on, uh, let's see here. Now it's different, 1.3. So it's not really consistent that well. Depends on probably how many wires I'm using too. This time I have more wires and stuff, a lot more stuff going on. So current is going through here, they're affecting the whole circuit. The wires have a resistance themselves, they have an inductance themselves. So uh, it's affecting the whole circuit. So there's some inconsistency there, but the general pattern is good. This time it's a uh, one point, uh, 1.3, but it is less than each one. So that's cool. The pattern is working.